Hi everyone, it's the Jim and Dave Beer, Beer Review. Review. Hey Dave, what's on tap? We have Trogues. Trogues, yay, we like Trogues. We have Hot Knife Harvest Ale. Hot Knife Harvest Ale. Hot Knife now, Harvest Ale. I've heard about this particular beer. Apparently this is the first year it's out and it has sold out. You can't get it until next year, I guess. I suppose it's seasonal. And yep. the, the, how do we get it, you may ask? Well, the only way you can still get it is in this season's variety pack. So this is one of four in there. I believe we may have reviewed the others already. We're going to double check that. Yes. Uh, if not, well, we'll, we'll review drink. one of them. Um, I know we got the Trogues uh, variety pack. I think it was springtime. Yeah. And let's see what it says here. Um, <laughs> come right. visit our brewery. Okay, they come to our website for information. It says, Hop Knife Harvest Ale recognizes the tradition of hand harvested hops. H H H. At their peak. Of maturity. Of maturity. Our hops cyclone process. Ooh, that was in special caps too, so maybe they got that trademarked. This hop cyclone process creates a spiral. An of inward hop spiral. An inward spiral of hop dispersal during fermentation, and this releases a bounty of citrus, resin, and tropical aromas. Okay, what else does it say, Dave? Who compliments? Hop knife works well with strong flavors like garlic, onion, and ginger. Ooh. Pair with bold, fatty cuts of meat and spice. Thai dishes that are used that use curry, coconut milk, and lemongrass. Okay, it's suggested to drink this for 40 to 45 to 50 degrees. Uh, the best to drink this out of is a tumbler. Ooh, well. Do you have a tumbler? We do. Do I we'll get, get a tumbler? All right, we'll I'll get go, two tumblers. I'll get tumblers. I don't know. We've never tried tumblers before. All right, Vamp, talk about uh, uh, stuff, Dave. I don't know what, you know, tumblers. Well, okay, I'll go by volume on this is uh, 6.2. Um, color is deep amber. We haven't opened it up yet or smelled it. But once we do, we'll be able to tell it. And what we have here is... Pop the beer cap. Can we just say hello on a Saturday night? Has not seen me. Um, availability for this is August through October, like uh, he was saying. Um, you can't get it after this because it's only available, I guess, after October. Um, yeah, the malts are Crystal Pilsner in Vienna. The hops are Cascade, Chinook, and El Dorado. The dry hops are Centennial, Citra, and Columbus. Tumblers. That's a tumbler? That's my understanding of what a tumbler is. There's different what kinds of tumblers. What's the difference between that glass and being that a glass, except for it's smaller? Well, I guess it's smaller. smaller. Well, uh, temperature-wise, we have a problem. It's not 45 nor 50. It just came out of the fridge. So, we're going to take that into consideration. So they're colder than they should be, right? Yeah, they're colder than they should be. Here, do this. <laughs> In the name of the Holy Roman Empire. No, that's not how you do. Oh, that's bad. That's really. That's not bad. the way to warm up beer. No, no, that's the way to get all sticky and stuff. Dirty. Not bad. Uh. Well, all right. I will um, give them a half a point or maybe whole point um, consideration when this is too cold. Now, yes, and we have heard this before, as we've learned, our beer knowledge has expanded. Some people say optimal enjoyment temperature, and we are working towards doing that at the Jim and Dave Beer Review. We're going to have a, a refrigerator, beer refrigerator, that we're going to put our beers in before we review it. And if there is such a thing, uh, I mean, if there is such a thing as a scientific way to do it, we'll adjust the temperature in there to the recommended temperature, so the beers will be at that temperature when we serve them. Or maybe we'll have it a few degrees colder, so as we bring it out and it's sitting here for a few minutes while we talk about it, it'll warm up to that temperature. That's neat. There's like a little bubble in the middle. Is that what it means by tumbler? Um, no. There's that little bubble in the middle. I think tumbler just means a little small glass like this. I'm not too sure what the classic definition is. I don't know either. Now, I missed the specs when I went upstairs. What the, the IBUs were 85, you said? 87. 87. It's and what 6 was the alcohol? 6.2 alcohol by volume. Sorry? 6.2. 6.2. So it's a little more than average. Alrighty, so. <sighs> great color. I see tiny bubbles. Yep, well, good uh, fermentation. It's clear, so it looks like it's been filtered. Yes. Uh, smells like a, like a nail. 
And it does smell like an ale. It has more of a, um, it does have a very resiny smell. They said resin in here. They how, did. How, how, wow, that's well, interesting. A little bit of pine. Pine. Of course, you know, it depends His on how palate's you're... getting way better than as it goes along here, people. Well, so you nose is like any other sense. Another too. beer cat. A little beer yeah, cat. Beer cat all over. I think as you use your senses, especially a sense of smell, which people gen try to ignore, that you get better at recognizing things. And you know, as we practice, I think we're going to get better too. Yeah, definitely. Little citrus notes. A um, little yeah, bit of citrus, pine. Definitely taste of citrus. A little bit of resin. Don't taste resin, but I mean, don't smell resin, but I do do do, do smell citrus. That's the obvious smell. Yeah, yeah. This uh, I, I, I really don't understand so how this, some of these people deal with the with the wines, and they can like they can like tell like like eighteen different kind of things inside of inside of wine. Well, like, it's uh, well, practice and knowledge, you know. As as I I think my goal is here. I th I hope as we study beers and the different kinds of hops that are used, that you and I will learn to differentiate the different scents that different ingredients will impart on the beer. I've done a lot of too much damage on my body to like do that by this point. Well, Dave used to be a smoker, but uh, hey, hey time. It, your nose, look at it just like I any other muscle. I've been over five years, but still, I mean, maybe I've lost some. The more you work out, the bigger muscles get. The more you use your nose, the more you use your face. The more taste, I use my big hunger. You do, I think the better it'll be, but you, got, you, you have to do concentrate. Try to pick it out. I mean, we read this stuff, but don't let go in one ear out the other. Learn it. One nostril into the other. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you could tell the uh, future, we call him Nostradamus. Yes. My nostril hunger. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, people. Mmm. <sighs> well, I can certainly see why this beer would sell out. Um, it has a, it's a bitter, but not an uncomfortable bitter aftertaste. I think this would actually be a good um, cooler weather beer. This might be a good beer to have fireside. Definitely with some spicy wow, food. Wow, fireside. We heard that before this week. Yeah, we were at a fireside tasting this week. Um, well, the fireside style beers. Our uh, friends over at uh, Camp Russia Beer Outlet were having a tasting and the manager, Joe, had a bunch of picks out, and he told why he thought each was good. This too. guy, he said, he said, hey, we got celebrities in the building. I said, you must be one of our eight subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Sonia. What a good cat. Uh, what are your first impressions of drinking this beer, my friend? Uh, well, it goes down pretty good. I like the smell. I, I like the taste going down. The, the taste coming back up is not as bad. But not for eighty five, that's actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, eighty seven, eighty five. But what I find, it, what I find with the aftertaste is it does have a lot of that resiny kind of you know very hop intensive flavor that you might expect from say a, a pale ale. Now this is a uh, it says hop knife. It says it's uh, yeah, handcrafted by the uh, Trogus brothers. Um, by it's monks. A, it, it is an ale. Abby. It is an ale. It's a harvest ale, so it's not necessarily a pale ale. So, but it does have many uh, pale ale characteristics, I believe. But it's certainly hoppy. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Because I'm, I'm hoppy. hoppy. Mm -hmm. Shut up! <laughs> oh my goodness, the cats are just attention. They yeah, we, attention we fed them. them. We don't understand why we're getting all this attention now. Don't understand the kitties. You look blue. Kitties. I gotta color correct this. <laughs> Well, my shirt else, looks blue. It's white, though. What's up with that? Yeah, um, don't worry about it. You've got it. 20% battery left. Well, that's okay. we got only a lot of space left. Mm -hmm. I got six all right, that's all right. That's why I like this better when the, the message comes up on screen. I can't see my face anymore. I just see my forehead. Okay. Sorry, the people out on YouTube land don't know what we're talking about. Nope. Anyway, it's the camera thing. Don't worry about it. Maybe we'll edit this out. So, we, let's keep into in mind, this is colder than it was originally intended for. Yeah, usually when you put stuff in the refrigerator, what's the refrigerator you said for like 36, 37, yeah. something like that? so it's like about 10 degrees too cold. 10 degrees too cold. Oh, you're sweetheart. Oh, you're so good. You're such a good kid. But, given that, um, wow, the question comes down. Really something, man. Wow. Look at that tail. Fluffy. Clean, too. My goodness. Hello. Um, so, the question comes down, if you were to go out and buy a case, and you know, you were having the food pairings they recommend, would you buy this beer? I would buy this beer to drink a whole case. I agree. I think, uh, this, um, I can certainly see why this beer sold out. 
it is a winner. Uh, I salute the Trogues brothers for this, uh, what do they call it, a cyclone, cyclone hop, hop, hop cyclone? cyclone? Hop cyclone process. Hop, hop. God bless you. You know, I think we need more hop cyclone processes in the world. Yes. Um, now, as for the final uh, number we shall give, yeah, like, what's, give your, what's your usual, t now, uh, yeah, give for the general category? Well, um, my one is a Budweiser. We're not going, we're, we're going for a, a plus number, not just a zero. Zero would be obviously Budweiser. Right. One's a Budweiser, whatever. We're trying to stick with uh, a certain Ten range. right now um, is is my Deschutes Black Butte Porter or um, Guinness Drop. And my ten these days is a Mirror Pond Pale Ale. And my one would be the original Samuel Adams Wheat Beer. Um, I just poured that right down the drain. Just so you have a sense of scale. Now, we have been trying to... Putting also beers into categories lately, but you know at the same time, just for purposes here, we're kind of keeping it general. So Dave, you usually have a number right off the top of your head. Oh, I give this one. an eight. Give him an eight. Eight. And is that taking into consideration that we're not optimally enjoying it for temperature? Yes, I guess so. Because um, usually when you get these kind of beers, they give a bad aftertaste. I don't usually go over a seven point five, but I. I like the taste going down really well. Yeah, this is a. It's so a that that made up for the taste coming back up. And I think this is aptly named. This is a good harvest ale. Um, not that I've ever harvested anything pretty much in my life. But if I was out on the farm, and I was working all day, and I was around, you know, stocks of corn and the uh, livestock. You'd be and, like drinking any kind of beer to what? Yeah. Kind of beer to yeah. I'll, I'll drink this At beer. this point, I'm falling asleep. Just give me anything. Uh, give me um, I like this a lot. I'm going to, keep, keeping in mind, um, I think I'm going to do an 8.5. Ah. No! It's <laughs> not nothing in it. It's okay. Oh, thank God. It's okay. Oh. It's all right. Shoo. Oh, sorry. Hey, don't, don't drink. Don't, when, you get, when, you, when you spell dark beer on a white carpet or tan carpet, that's when it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, I don't think we ever did you want to spill it. Did that, I did it at my house the other day with my black uh, beer. I spilled a little bit on the carpet. I was like, no! Yeah, I, I spent, I spent like right three up. hours today scrubbing down my carpet today because I couldn't find the carpet, could the stuff for the carpet cleaner. Yeah, this is definitely a winner. Um, it's a little bitter for my palate, but um, generally speaking, I don't it mind really it. It really went down well, though. Right. Really went down well. I like it a lot. So Dave gives eight. I give eight point five. Good oh, job, yeah. Trogues brothers. So this is the Jim and Dave beer review. As always, please don't drink and drive. If you're pregnant, you shouldn't drink. Do not drink. Do not cross drink either. By the way, people. Yeah. Do not do that. You should really only stick one kind of alcohol. Unless you're at home, then do what you want. But if you're out at a friend's house or out at a bar, you should not cross breed your different kind of drinks. Yeah, don't Talking cross like breed. Don't. You don't want drink, your drinks happening with one another. Do not drink, like, scotch and drink a beer and then have some cream to mint or something like that. Not a good idea. Words to live by. And if you're under 21, don't drink at all. Yes. So I just want to give you a little bit of, uh, little bit of what I've learned. Absolutely. Learn, learn from uh, our mistakes. My mistake. And if you're under, uh, please um, leave a comment below. If you agree with us, if you don't agree with us, if you'd like to try it, go to trogues.com and find out where... Um, where you can get it. Yeah, you can only get it for the next, next rest of the, this month, so go get it now. And you can only get it in the I don't think you pack. Can, the only way you can go, and you can go try, we, we go to like, we, we found this place, King of Prussia Beer Outlet now, right? Yep. And Austin's, two great places to get different kind of beers, but the place, King of, Prussia, King of Prussia Beer Outlet, had beers I've never seen before. But I would think that Austin had more variety packs than, than right. King of right, Prussia. Well, beers outlet. different people, different strengths. Exactly, but they, they, were, both. they were both of them very nice. Very nice. But this is going to a wide audience. They don't have to worry about yeah. our local places. We just appreciate well, the unless, efforts you know, you know, of the beer us. community. Yeah, yeah. Just want to let you guys know and what's going on. And all that stuff you like know. that there. Absolutely. Thank you very much, people. All right, my friend. Let's yes. see here. Let me hit the dismiss button. And say goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, Dave. Say goodbye, Sonia. Goodbye, Sony. Do you want a treat? Meow. Treat. 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 I don't meow for treat. Sorry. You don't meow for treat, you don't get one. Oh, my God. How about you, Puff? Do you want a treat? Oh. You don't. Ah, All right, you get, get a treat. Oh, then Sonia.